Hola, marhaba, good morning, bonjour, and ni hao. Today, we would like to discuss uh, a different uh, topic, which uh, I've received a couple of questions about it, and it's mainly target for the community of expats on the G GCC, which is the Gulf states. It's including United Arab Emirates, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and the other Emirates, including Qatar, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Oman. That's the six countries in the GCC or the Gulf Council, which most of the expats that coming from the UK, coming from Europe, coming from US or Canada or from the Middle East or from Asia, they moved there, whatever they moved there just five years or 10 years ago or even 20 years. Normally, this kind of countries doesn't give a permanent resident in very rare situation and it in a very extremely rare situation, they don't give the citizenship of that country to the expat community or people who lived in the country for 5, 10, 20 or even 50 years. Uh, they have they have a different ways of how to treat the expat community. They have a very well income, a very high well income compared to other expat community in other countries. But they face with a huge problem when they decide to finish the work or end their residency or any kind of uh, problems, whatever it's um, a political problem or financial problem or even uh, something that uh, the I mean anything could happen as an expat. Your residency is finished and you would like to go back to your home country. So you've spent in a different country, in a different environment for at least five plus years. And then you thinking about going back and then it's you. OK, you give it a back. You didn't finish everything in, in, in GCC and you just give it travel or staying. Let's give it a try. I'm going back to the UK. I'm going to Canada, US and Europe. And then you shocked that. Your home country is totally changed. The, the people mindsets change. Uh, the normal ideas or the, the community that used to live there is totally changed. When you spend outside your home country for at least five plus years, things change. And in, in the last uh, five to ten years, everything has changed so fast. So you'll not be familiar. It's like moving to a different Total country. It's your home country. You are resident or your citizenship. You have your kids, you have your family, you have your ties in this your home country. But when you decide to go back, it's totally different. My advice for all the expat community in the GCC, don't go back to your home country. Try to allocate or choose a different destination. The first thing you will be able to save in tax. You will have a better lifestyle and you will have a better, you can say, your your saving or your investment will go much far better when in your new destination when you compare it with your home country. If you decide to go to Turkey, Thailand, uh, Portugal, Cyprus, uh, Greece, Uruguay, Brazil, Mexico, um, uh, or any other, you can say, like expat destination, it will be much, much, much in a better position when compared with your home country. You will be able to get much more out of your investment. You will have a better lifestyle and it will be a different situation if you compare your new destination with your home country because it's it you, you will feel different in, in both situations. You will not feel home when you go back to your country. Many things are familiar, the, the culture, the language, but the people have to change. They move on. They move on when you move uh, to the GCC countries and they will look to you as a different one. They will look to you as, uh, you can say, a newcomer or immigrant because you don't have the kind of mindset or the, or the challenges that they have faced during the five or ten last years. So try to find a new destination. We will make more videos about this topic. And thanks so much for uh, joining. Why not join our community in the description below and subscribe to the channel. We have just passed 100 subscribers. Looking forward to uh, 1,000 subscribers and 100k subscribers very soon. And give this video a thumb up if you like it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Mo speaking to you. Have a good day and stay global, my friends. Bye-bye.